Question 15. A shaded isosceles triangle is drawn inside a rectangle. Now remember, isosceles means that the triangle has got two sides and two angles the same. Okay? And it also means it's got one line of symmetry. So, what I always encourage people to do with an angles question is basically to treat it a bit like a jigsaw puzzle with missing pieces. And just fill as many pieces in of the puzzle as you can using as many facts that you can. And eventually you'll get the piece that you need. Now there's a few ways you could think about this. And the first way you could think about this is that if this is an isosceles triangle, then this would be a line of symmetry through the triangle. Now if this is a line of symmetry, then if this angle here is 38, then the angle on the other side is also 38. And what you've got here is angles on a straight line. There's your straight line. Now remember, angles on a straight line add up to 180. So, if we've got angles on a straight line add to 180, then what we could do is add together these two 38s. So 38 plus 38. Let's see what that comes to. So we have 8 and 8 is 16, put the 6 in, carry the 1. 3 plus 3 plus 1 is 7, so 76 degrees. So these two angles together, the two 38s, add up to 76. Now if you take your 76 off of 180, you will get what's left. So 0 take away 6 we can't do, so borrow 1. So the 8 becomes a 7, and the 1 we borrowed becomes a 10. Makes a 0 into a 10. 10 take away 6 is 4, 7 take away 7 is 0, and 1 take away nothing there is still 1. So, this angle here, and this is the one we're trying to find, must be 104 degrees. So, angle A is 104 degrees, and that's what we need to write in here. So, just to recap, this is angles on a straight line, so it needs to add up to 180. If this is 38, then this is 38, because isosceles triangle has a line of symmetry. Take your 238, which is 76, off 180, and you're going to get 104. There is actually another way you could do this one. And you could actually say, well, if this is 38, this over here is 90. So you could work out this angle at the top here. This is a slightly longer way around of doing it. So 90 out of 38 is 128. So if, that, if these two together make 128, what do you need to add on to 128 to get the whole triangle, this triangle, to add up to 180? Well, it's going to be 52. So this one here would be 52. If this is 52, then this one here, because we've got a right angle in the corner, would need to be 38. So if this is 38, and it's an isosceles triangle, so we've just established that that would be 52, so that's 90. So if this is 180 inside this triangle, then this is going to be 38. But because it's isosceles, you've got exactly the same angle on the other side. So if that's 38, that's 38. And then you could say, look at these angles inside the grey triangle, and say, well, you've got two 38s, and two 38s is... 76, so 8 and 8 is 16, carry the 1, 3 plus 3 plus 1 is 7, and then again you've got the same thing again, so you're going to do 180, take away 76, which as we got before is going to give you 104, because obviously 0 take away 6 you can't do, so you borrow 1, 10 take away 6 is 4, 7 take 7 is nothing, and 1 take nothing is 1. So whichever way you do it, the answer is going to be 104 degrees for angle A.